Welcome to this session of deploying a web application firewall WAF policy across multiple accounts using the AWS Firewall Manager. Hello, my name is Sanchit Kandaka and I'm Net Specialist Solutions Architect at AWS. AWS Firewall Manager simplifies your administration and maintenance tasks across multiple accounts and resources for a variety of protections, including AWS WAF, AWS Shield Advanced, Amazon VPC Security Groups, AWS Network Firewall and Amazon Route 53 Resolver DNS Firewall. With Firewall Manager, you set up your protections just once and the service automatically applies them across your accounts and resources even as you add new accounts and resources. A Firewall Manager WAF policy contains the rule groups that you want to apply to your resources. Firewall Manager creates a Firewall Manager Web ACL in each account where you apply the policy the individual account managers can add rules and rule groups to the resulting web ACL in addition to the rule groups that you define here. The prerequisites for using the firewall manager are join and configure AWS organizations, set the AWS firewall manager administrator account, and enable AWS config on the administrator account and the member accounts. For more details, please refer to the AWS Firewall Manager prerequisites section under documentation for AWS Firewall Manager. For the purposes of this demo, as an example, we'll assume that the user has completed the prerequisite steps with three accounts. The admin account, which is the FMS admin account, and two member accounts, Firewall account one and Firewall account two. As mentioned earlier, AWS Firewall Manager can be used to set up WAF policies for different types of AWS resources. In this video, we'll set up an AWS WAF policy to be applied to a CloudFront distribution. Sign into the AWS Management Console and navigate to the AWS Firewall Manager in the Administrator account. Select Create Policies under the Security Policies. Since we're using AWS WAF policy on a CloudFront distribution, we'll select the AWS WAF service and the region to be global. Please note that this is just an example and Firewall Manager WAF policies can be applied to different types of resources. Click Next. Select a policy name. And a policy description. As an example scenario, we'll set up three rule groups. Two in the first rule groups and one in the last rule groups. Under the first rule groups, click Add Rule Groups. Expand on the AWS Manage Rule Groups section and select the Core Rule Set and the Known Bad Inputs to be added to the Web ACL. Scroll down and select Add Rules. Next, we'll go into the last rule groups. Again, expand on the AWS Managed Rule Groups and select Amazon IP Reputation List and add that to the Web ACL. We will go back to the first rule groups and select AWS Known Bad Inputs and move them up so that the AWS Known Bad Inputs are evaluated first before the AWS core rule sets rules are evaluated. Firewall Manager creates this web ACL in all accounts that are within the policy scope. We have defined the rule groups to run first and the rule groups to run last when the web ACL inspects a web request. Then in the individual accounts, the account owner can only add rule groups to be run in between these first and last rule groups. Next, we will select the default web ACL action. This is the action that AWS WAF takes when a web request doesn't match any of the rules in the web ACL. 
Your configuration of your own rules and rule groups depends in part on whether you want to allow or block most web requests. For example, if you want to allow most requests, you would set the web ACL default action to allow and then add rules that identify web requests that you want to block. The rule action here can be either allow, which is AWS WEF allows the request to be forwarded to the protected AWS resource for processing and response, or block, AWS WEF blocks the request. We will leave the default action for the web ACL to allow. Next is the logging configuration. In the logging configuration for your web ACL, you can customize what AWS WAF sends to the logs. You must choose a logging destination whose name begins with AWS-WAF-Logs. You can also select if any sensitive information in the log fields should be redacted. And if you don't want to send all the requests to the logs, you can add your filtering criteria and behavior. We will leave the logging configuration to disable for now. If you enable sample requests, AWS WAF stores samples from the last three hours of requests that match the web ACL rules. For the policy action, it's good to first identify and review the resources that don't comply with the policy rules and then enable auto remediation. So for that case, we will leave the policy action to be identify resources that don't comply with the policy rules, but don't auto remediate, which is the default option. Click next. In the policy scope section, we'll check the CloudFront distribution resource type and we'll apply the AWS accounts that this policy will apply to, to include all the accounts under the AWS organization and the resources to include all resources that match the selected resource type. Policy scope defines the accounts and resources covered by this policy. We'll click next. You can also optionally enable policy tags just like any other AWS resource. In the review section, we'll ensure that all the settings are correct. And click Create Policy. You have now created a WAF policy named FMS-Demo using the AWS Firewall Manager, which will be applied to all the accounts within the organization. To confirm that the WAF policy created in the FMS admin account was applied to the member accounts belonging to the organization, we will now navigate to the Firewall Account 1, select WAF and Shield, and our WAF we will go to Web ACLs, and when we switch the region to Global, which is for CloudFront, we will see that FMS has created a Web ACL in the member account, which is Firewall Manager Managed Web ACL, and the name of the Web ACL, and that ACL creation timestamp in UTC milliseconds. For all AWS Firewall Manager policies, you can go back to the administrator account and view the compliance status for the accounts and resources that are in scope of the policy. We'll click on the policy. An account or resource is in compliance with a Firewall Manager policy if the settings in the policy are reflected in the settings for the account or resource. Each policy type has its own compliance requirements, which you can tune when you define the policy. For some policies, like in this case, you can also view detailed violation information for in-scope resources to help you better understand and manage your security risk. In this case, 
The two accounts, which are the member accounts, are shown to be non-compliant. And if we click on one of the member accounts, we can see that the resource ID, which is a CloudFront distribution, is missing a firewall manager managed web ACL, which means that a firewall manager managed web ACL has not been applied to this CloudFront distribution. This has been a short demo on deploying a web application firewall policy across multiple accounts using the AWS Firewall Manager. Thank you and happy cloud computing from all of us at AWS.